For the third night in a row, gunfire erupts in Hartford. The latest shooting has now left one person dead. This one happened in the area of Blue Hills Avenue and Euclid Street. And as News H Kent Pierce is live this morning to tell us, it comes just hours before city leaders are set to sit down and talk about urban violence. Good morning, Kent. Good morning, Ann and Chris. That shooting last night makes three fatal shootings in the past two weeks here in the capital city, and it comes just hours before a previously scheduled public forum where city and state leaders were going to discuss ways to prevent violence in Hartford. Let's take you to the scene of last night's violence. This is in the north end of Hartford, Blue Hills Avenue in the vicinity of Euclid Street. Police tell News 8 multiple shots were fired when they got there. A 23-year-old man was lying on the ground. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Now, just last week, a 39-year-old Cromwell man was shot and killed in the Frog Hollow section. The week before that, a 21-year-old pregnant woman was shot and killed in a car in the north end of Hartford. There were also other shootings over this past weekend that were non-fatal. Now, this morning, there's going to be a public forum. We're going to have the mayor, the police chief of Hartford, and the governor. They're all going to be together at this public forum, also in the north end of Hartford, meeting with the public, talking about ways to prevent violence. It's called discussion. Discussion on urban violence prevention strategies. It's at 10 a.m. at the Parker Memorial Community Center. That's on Main Street. We're live outside Hartford Police Headquarters. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.